Hey guys, this is Bea from Responsive Muse and in this video I want to talk about Adobe Muse. By now, most of you might already know that in March 2018, Adobe announced that they weren't going to make any future improvement to Muse. Um, the last update was I think March 26, because that's when they made this announcement. Um, this means that Muse is still working, but they're like kind of letting it die in a way this because there's not going to be any improvement not in some months not in years uh your widgets will still be working our online shop will also be working but i guess it's time that we talk about what alternatives are out there i remember the day that we got this email from danielle um telling us that they were canceling Muse. It was very, very, very upsetting. I remember talking to the team and the feeling, just we, we felt so, so empty. The feeling was like if a boyfriend or your girlfriend broke up with you, it was that emptiness. It's a bit weird, this comparison, but that's actually how it felt. We built like this relationship with Adobe for so many years and suddenly it's like, oh, nothing, it's done, it's finished. <sighs> This announcement was like public on the 26th of March, but we just found out like 10 to like 10 to 11 days before before that. Danielle was very kind. We we privately spoke to her. We video chatted. Um, we talked about some options and the future, what was going to happen, and so knowing that the support will continue, I think until 2020. But I guess it's time to start to find other alternatives to Muse. So when we spoke with Danielle, she told us that she was moving to Adobe Experience, to Adobe XD. Um, she told us like, to give it a look. We, we tested it, we, we looked at it, but right now uh, Adobe Experience, um, you cannot build webs with it. Um, there's some kind of like link that you can share between like members of your team, but you won't be able to upload your designs to your uh, domain or to your own server, at least not right now. Uh, I guess that this maybe might be in the future plans, but right now it's good for prototyping, but not for website building. We also studied other tools that are in the market as alternatives to Muse. And after a lot of testing and a lot of studying, we reached to a conclusion that WordPress was the, definitely the best option. First of all, you can install WordPress for free into your domain. There are also a lot of widgets. There are free widgets, also premium widgets that are very, very, very powerful. What we found with other tools is that many of them, they kind of like force you in a way to host your sites in their own servers and they will charge you extra fees for this. And also if you have like other functionalities like e-commerce or CMS, they will also be charging you extra fees for this. With WordPress, this is not going to happen because you can host your sites um, in your own servers. So there will be no extra fees for this and e-commerce is for free too. In WordPress, you will definitely design your sites faster. And when a client asks for um, a private access or a login to the site um, or an online shop, these things will be so much easier to do in WordPress. So we see a lot of advantages in WordPress that we don't see in other tools. Also, our team has lots of experience working with WordPress. Not only we were the ones who created the Muse to WordPress converter, it, an online converter where you could design your theme in Muse and convert it into WordPress. We know how Muse works and we also know how WordPress works perfectly. In WordPress, there are some in WordPress there are some visual solutions which you can use to create your site with no code knowledge. These page builders won't allow you to fully design your own WordPress theme. I mean, you can't control it, the design, you can't control your own design 100%. This is the reason why we decided to create a tool where you could do that. That's why we created Themes Generator. It's a tool where you can design your WordPress theme, your own WordPress theme. You can fully control the header and the footer, the whole design. 
we think that themes generator is um used to wordpress but improved for example this complex system in muse of breakpoints having to create breakpoints so your design will look good in every device we've improved that and also depending on third-party widgets to get extra functionalities. So Muse users, I'm inviting you to use Themes Generator for free. Yes, it's free. Just visit themesgenerator.com and you can use this tool for free. You can build your own WordPress theme. Guys, if you have questions or comments, put them in the comment section below this video. I'll be glad to answer them all. We've got cool tutorials in this channel and we're preparing more cool stuff. So subscribe and don't miss any video. See you next time.